That whole list of things right there, did that have fins and scales? No. Come on now. So when you eat that, what God gonna do to you? He gonna punish you. But you're like, Lord, oh, I didn't know. Well, once upon a time, you did know. Jump to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 47. Once upon a time, we did know God's commandments. Today, you may not know, okay, I can't have no snow crab legs. I can't have no shrimp. Why, because you've been eating it your whole life, right? Why is that? Same reason why you've been eating chitlins your whole life. Pig intestines. Bring it That's out. the same reason why. Because your masters taught you to. And guess what your masters want? You to be in slavery. They want you to stay low down, so they're going to give you foods that cause you to break God's commandments. Right. Then God is going to punish you by having them rule over you. And it becomes a vicious cycle until you have what? Look, look around you. Look at this purple and gold. This is what you have and break the mold because the Lord's spirit has come back upon us as a people because you said you're from the tribe of Judah. That's what you said, Eric. You're from the tribe of Judah. Guess what? The Lord's spirit is back. Now read that for me, Moshe. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because we serve not the Lord our God. I told you, Eric, once upon a time, we knew the commandments. We learned them, lived by them, even loved them, and then hated them. That's what we're about to read. Read it again. Because thou serves not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. With joyfulness and gladness of heart. Now you see that with your kids, for example. You tell them to do some, ah, like what? Yeah, you know, smack they teeth. Whoa, then they all, you know, they repent. They repent quick, because they know what's going to come if they don't repent. Punishment. But we, as a people, ah, uh, I ain't keeping that commandment. I like snow crab legs. I like some steamed scallops, some oysters. That's what we do as a people. And the Lord told me I can't have no pig feet, no ham hogs. No, Eric, you cannot have that. That's us save the Bible. Read. Because thou serves not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. You don't like to not eat pork. We don't like to not eat shrimp, crab, lobster. We don't like that thing. And guess what? From us not liking it, now we die of diseases. We're like the number one for heart disease. Then you get high blood pressure, right? Diabetes. Why is that? Because we didn't serve the Lord our God with joyfulness of heart, gladness and joyfulness. He gave us the commandments, eat some lamb. What's wrong with lamb? What's wrong with chicken? What's wrong with goat? What's wrong with those things with fish, not catfish, like some white? What's wrong with that? Some salmon, some snapper. What's wrong with that, Eric? Nothing. But we as a people, well, I don't want some of that shrimp. You want to tell I can't. You don't put that old bay season on some salmon or something? Come on now. Keep God's commandments or you're going to be cursed. Read. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. Meaning we was upset because the Lord gave us everything. And we was upset about it. We said, man, I ain't. Yeah, I know he's looking out for me. I know he's taking care of me. But I, I don't want to do it. How would you feel you do all that for your children and then they rebel against you? You've been taking care of them for 18 years, 19 years, 20 years. You've been clothing them, feeding them, teaching them, guiding them, helping them. And then they say, fine, or whatever. How that's gonna make you feel, Eric? You're gonna feel upset. You're gonna feel angry, wrathful, right? Finish that. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore, since you don't want to serve me, God said, I'm going to make you serve your enemies, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man and woman. You didn't want to serve God for the abundance of all things, so now you serve your enemies. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Let me see if you can relate to what's coming out. How are we cursed in the city, city environment? Taxes, inflation, right? The price of food is going up, but are you getting paid more money? No. 
Gas go up, are you getting paid more money? No. Taxes go up, are you getting paid more money? No. So now you're trying to figure out how much stretch this dollar. That's what we all gotta figure out, how much stretch this dollar. Why is that? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and jump over to verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. This is what's happening right now, Eric. We become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. What's that going into? Look at these niggas right here. The way we live is astonishing. Teach. That proverb is, if you want to hide something from a Negro, put it in the book. If you think of a baby mama, guess who you're thinking about? When they say she make it clap, who you thinking about? Come on now, keep it real. When they say loud mouth, what woman, who you thinking about? Come on, Eric. These are proverbs against our people. Lazy, shiftless, no good. Come on now. We know these are proverbs against our people. Why? Because the nations cut us off. They took that crafty counsel, that sneaky gathering we talked about, right? Then they cut us off. And then what happened? Now we become in proverbs. Right. Bywords, niggas, hoes, bees, shiftless, no good, baby daddies, baby mamas, deadbeat. All these names and terms and bywords, Hispanics, African American, Negro, God did not call you that. God did not say that you're Mexican. God didn't say you're Puerto Rican, Venezuelan. God didn't say that. He said the tribe of Judah, Ephraim, Nephilim, Levi. That's what you find in this Bible, right. not bywords. So now you're coming back to your heritage. You're learning that you got to keep the commandments. Give me that Deuteronomy 12. Give me that. Because that's the conclusion of it, my brother Eric. So we're going to touch on a few more laws. Hey, listen up, family. We're dealing with your salvation. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? My brother Eric, do you know what the Lord God requires of you? Your creator, your father, what does he require of you? See, obedient, that's true. Obedient to what though? There we go. Obedient to his commandments. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. On the top. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Listen up, Eric. This is what the Lord thy God, your God, requires from you. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You must fear him. Don't your children fear you? Yeah. As they should. Do you fear God? As you should. Read. To walk in all his ways. So you should fear God and walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's what's required of you, Eric. So now you got to learn how do I serve the Lord my God. How? By learning the commandments, like you said. Now give me uh, Numbers 15. A commandment, my brother Eric, is your clothing. We touched on dietary before, now let's touch on apparel, right? Because you didn't know that you couldn't eat snow crab legs and lobster, shrimp. Well, guess what? I'm about to give you another command dealing with your apparel. You can't eat pork either, Eric. No eating pork, all right? Read. Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? Are you a child of Israel? Come a little closer, Mary. Come a little closer. This right here said the 12 tribes of Israel. So Israel was our forefather. He had 12 sons. And then when you see this list of names right here, those are his 12 sons. Right. So when it says the children of Israel, it's literally talking about him and his sons and their descendants. So guess what, Eric? You are a child of Israel. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. 